All right, step seven, jointing to width, two and three eighths of an inch. We wanna make this board, instead of two and a half inches wide, two and three eighths. I notice as I'm looking at this board, there's this knot right here. I don't wanna to try to joint through that knot, so I'm gonna joint from this edge instead. Okay, and the drawing your board is two and th three eighths inches wide. The board you have is bigger than that. These next steps will show you how to achieve the two and three eighths inch width. Use the tape measure, step eight, to mark two and three inches high on the face. Make two marks, one on the left and one on the right, so that you get a straight line. Then use the straight edge of the combination square to make a straight line between the two points. That's a lot to digest. So on the left of the board, I'm going to measure up two and three eighths and make a mark. And I'm gonna circle my mark so I don't lose it. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to measure up two and three eighths. And then I'm going to use the straight edge of my combination square. Remember this is adjustable, so I can spread that out a little bit. Put my straight edge right on the line. And make that connection. Okay, we have to do this on both sides. So I'm gonna flip the board over and I'm going to repeat the process. I'm gonna measure up to And you're gonna find that this is awkward. It might take an extra friend's hand to do this correctly. Two and three eighths, and two and three eighths. And once again, I'm going to connect those two lines. Okay, so now I have a line on the back and a line on the front. Step nine, clamp the board on a vise and use the block plane to shave the board down to the two and three eighths inch mark. Here's my bench vise. I'm gonna set that in there like so. Tighten this down. Not too tight. Be sure to keep the plane square. Check often with a combination square or tri-square. Taking a material off the edge of a board is called jointing. There's a power tool in the shop called a jointer that does the same thing, only faster. It also eats fingers. This is the power jointer right here. That's the power jointer head. That's what eats the fingers. Using the block plane, you're going to make several passes over your wood. And you can see the wood that's coming off of here. A good sharp block plane will take very little effort. Make sure there's nobody or nothing in your way as you're doing this. As I'm doing this, I'm going to stop and check, setting the block plane on its side. I'm going to check both sides to see where my line is and make sure I'm staying on it. I may also want to take this off and use my combination square to make sure that I'm making a good square cut. Keep going with this until you're right down to a half a line, making adjustments as you go. looks good. Be sure to put away your tools when you're finished. And yes, I did just sweep that on the floor. That's why we sweep at the end of class.